Hey, ladies and gentlemen, something exciting has just happened. Capital Land ascended this REIT, the best performing REIT in the last 21 years in Singapore's history, has fallen way below its recent placement price. Now look at this announcement. Yes, the placement was done just the week before. What was the placement price? 2.727. And followed in our recent class in... At GCP Global Quarterly Class, we told investors, don't touch the placement. What has happened now? Well, the price has fallen below the 2.727. Now look at this chart. You know, you can see that the prices just one and a half weeks ago was as high as 2.88. And just look at what happened in the last one and a half weeks. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the share price of Capital Land Centers has crash crash below the placement price of 2.727 which means that you and I have the best opportunity to be accumulating the share at way below 265 you know for the last seven trading sessions so ladies and gentlemen once again patience pay off but you must know what is the price target what is the price movement in buying your real estate investment well, let us just share with you today what we shared in our last investment class so that you can see that it's been an opportunity you know, for us to be buying or be looking at accumulating capital and assets. But before that, take a step back and look at this chart. You know, One of the revelations that we made in our class was this. That if you look at the recent placement since 2020, if you look at the chart, ladies and gentlemen, in 2020, there were six placements. That was from Prime Rate, Maple Tree Industrial, Fraser Center Point Trust, Maple Tree Logistics, Capital Land Sanders, and Capital Land Trust. Now, how many of these REITs actually made it? Money for investors based on the price yesterday. That is Tuesday, 6th of June. Yes, 0606. Sounds like a shoppy day. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a great investor for all these reads, you may not have much money to buy you know, on 6-6 you know, because you've lost money on all the six basements. Then, if you notice, from 2-0-2-0, we jump to 0 2 one Hey! Did I miss out something? No. There were 15 placements in 2021. This is just that I didn't want to put that in in my class presentation because there were 15 placements. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? All of this private, 15 private placements will have lost money for investors. So once again, if you have not attended our classes and avoided this private placement, you will say, oh my gosh, how can you actually not lose so much money? My ladies and gentlemen, private placements are given to family offices, institutional investors, index fund managers, and ultra smart people with a lot of money. And yet these people can lose money? Oh, maybe because they didn't attend our class. But then again, let us go into detail in guiding you with the principle behind a private placement and essentially why you can avoid not being sucked into the system and not you know, avoid losing money. Now look at this table again. Now in 2022, there were two placements, Lendies and Ascot Resident Trust, which is now known as Capital Land Sanders. No big deal. After change name, after the placement, both the price as of yesterday is still lower than the private placement price, meaning you would have lost money again. Oh, so far this year, you know, because of the possibility that interest rates are likely to peak, whether it's next month or the following quarter, you know, you already have four rates, that's ESR logos, 
Maple Tree Logistics, Capital Land Centers, and Maple Tree Industrial during placements. And in this last two weeks alone, you know, there is like a fast and fury pace. Like this. Capital Land Centers raising 500 million. That's half a billion, ladies and gentlemen. Can you imagine? This half a billion have lost money in just a couple of days, you know? And Maple Tree Industrial, those who took the placement at 2.212, did they make money? No! As of yesterday's price, they are like, wah, boom, boom, you know? So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, what does it mean, therefore, for you being a savvy, sagacious, and a sharp investor that we at GCP Global trade? Now, look at the next chart, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, interview in the uh, Business Times last year uh, as of March uh, 2020, we already warned that too many aspects are making cash calls that don't add value to unit shareholders. Remember, you know, in our classes, we have detailed for our students why some of these weeks come out with spurious, you know, uh, configurations of DPU accretion, NAV accretion. But then again, after the acquisitions have been announced, do these REITs pull up review pertaining to whether those acquisitions made money, made money as projected, or actually lost money? In fact, if they have lost money, would you have known? Were they, you know, considerate enough to even let you know? You know take for example, one of the reads I've been warned about since uh, last uh, uh, last year was actually digital coin read, right? And you can see, ladies and gentlemen, in our previous video, we already told you that one of its potential customer system is likely to be for. And guess what? Early this week, it's just confirmed that system has filed for bankruptcy. Look at the press announcement from Digital Call. You know. Did they actually feel that, oh shit, you know, they, um, you know, they, that they have prepared shareholders for this? You know, they just say that, you know, look at the announcement, they are like a cold piece of meat, telling you that they have just re received revenue up to then. But then again, you know, what does it mean for the week going forward? Are you, a potential shareholder, being protected further ahead? Does it not mean, therefore, if major customers of REITs actually are about to default. Remember, as long as they are about to default, you know, uh, that was actually la late last year. The share price is more than eight cents for digital call. You know, as market rumors swirl and twill, the share price continue to collapse. And it is more than fifty percent. Now, by the time they have confirmed, you know, and reached the reach, to then actually issue a statement that they. One of the customer has defaulted the share price at half. So where is the protection for you, the REIT investor? So at GCP Global, that's what we do in our classes. We prep you for which are the customers of the various REITs as we examined the detailed will, we examine the leases, the covenants, and help prepare you. Because remember, as what soon to say, you know, the people that do well are the ones that come well prepared. Because if you come well prepared, that's where it presents opportunities. So back to today's topic. Does the fact that the crash of Capital Land Ascenders present a buying and a great opportunity for you and me? Now take a look at the chart, ladies and gentlemen. As of yesterday, oh my goodness, you know, despite the debt saving being resolved in the US, despite the EPS of the corporate results of the key companies that have reported so far has come in above expectation, you have a scenario where real estate investment trusts in Singapore have now tested the 708 level. The 708 level, which we saw yesterday, is equivalent do the same level that we saw on the 5th of April, two months ago, right? And you can see that this is a level that has been tested, you know, look at the support line of the purple chart. Okay, it's tested once, twice, three, and now fourth time. Will it hold? Well, 
follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're going to give you an update on this. So, if you're coming into this perspective knowing that it is a good read that's capital and ascendance, and you're buying at below the placement mark price of 2.727 because it's now below 265, so you're almost buying a 10 cents discount, ladies and gentlemen, to the placement price. And can you just imagine those half a million, those half a billion, sorry, you know, where the so-called smart money took up, they have lost money, man, in the last just two weeks ago, right? So let's look at it. Capital in the centers, you know, share price in our class, you know, last week we actually shared that, hey, take a look at capital and centers. It's one of the best performing REIT. If you like the portfolio, you like the, the perspective going forward, it's one of the most well diversified REITs with exposure in Singapore, Australia, logistics assets, warehouse, data center, they have it all under one roof, as well as in the UK and Europe. That's really one of the reads you should be looking at. After all, it's very well managed. And how many times in the last one and a half years have the share price fallen below 265? Look no further. Look once again at the pink support line. Now, I've actually calculated and showed you four stars. You can see, ladies and gentlemen, you know, there is, every time the share price hit 270, it rebounded. Second time, it went below 270 for a while. In a couple of days and then rebound it okay above the seven and the third time same thing fourth time same thing and we are seeing this the fourth time so as what we always teach in our class we look at all the possibilities up or down but then based on our expertise then we assign the probability based on our knowledge you know of the read based on our knowledge on price movement and based on our knowledge of market Movement. So market timing, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make your millions in real estate investment trust, as we have done in our book, Making Your Millions in Real Estate Investment Trust. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, now that the share price has fallen below to 65, you know, and it's one of the rare opportunities that, in fact, this is it's only the fourth time in the last one and a half years. You know, what do you do now? Do you sit back and scurry and get scared? You know? Or are you like us as what we have actually, well, for me personally, I've shared you know, in my class that I have already been buying, you know, accumulating the stock below 268. Right? That's because I took my million dollar profit from selling Maple Tree Logistics Trust. Um, that's why I shared in my investment class just last week. Uh, if you want more details, to extend our next class on the 9th of September. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after you make your millions in profits, relax because opportunities like Capital Land Ascenders present. And when they present themselves, don't just sit back, get scared because no analyst is recommending the stock now. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is not an investment recommendation channel. So I have to show you this disclaimer. You know, it is just a sharing you know of the positions that I take and what we mentioned about in class. So once again hope you like our YouTube channel, subscribe and if you would like further and know how to make more money, be more stable, you know, in real estate investment, you do sign up for a class at the special early bird price on 9th September. See you and give us a thumbs up until next week ladies and gentlemen.